Bill Bryson. William Maguire Bryson, born December 8, 1951, is a British-American author of books on travel, the English language, science, and other non-fiction topics. Born in the United States, he has been a resident of Britain for most of his adult life. Returning to the United States between 1995 and 2003. He served as the Chancellor of Durham University from 2005 to 2011. Bryson came to prominence in the United Kingdom with the publication of Notes from a Small Island, 1995, an exploration of Britain, and its accompanying television series. He received widespread recognition again with the publication of A Short History of Nearly Everything, 2003, a book widely acclaimed for its accessible communication of science. Bryson was born in Des Moines, Iowa, the son of Agnes Mary, Nay McGuire, and sports journalist Bill Bryson Sr. His mother was of Irish descent. He had an older brother, Michael, 1942 to 2012, and a sister, Mary Jane Elizabeth. In 2006, Bryson published The Life and Times of the Thunderbolt Kid, a humorous account of his childhood years in Des Moines. Bryson attended Drake University for two years before dropping out in 1972 deciding instead to backpack around Europe for four months. He returned to Europe the following year with a high school friend, Matt Anger, the pseudonymous Stephen Katz. Bryson wrote about some of his experiences from this trip in his book. Bryson first visited Britain in 1973 during his tour of Europe and decided to stay after landing a job working in a psychiatric hospital, the now-defunct Holloway Sanatorium in Virginia Water, Surrey. He met a nurse there named Cynthia Billen, whom he married in 1975. They moved to Bryson's hometown of Des Moines, Iowa in 1975 so that Bryson could complete his college degree at Drake University. In 1977 they settled in Britain. He worked as a journalist, firstly for the Bournemouth Evening Echo, eventually becoming chief copy editor of the business section of the Times and deputy national news editor of the business section of the Independent. He left journalism in 1987. Three years after the birth of his third child. Bryson started writing independently and in 1990 their fourth child, Samuel, was born. He has moved around the UK and lived in Virginia Water, Surrey, Purewell, Dorset, Burton, Dorset, Kirby Malham, North Yorkshire, in the 1980s and 90s, and the old rectory in Rampillingham, Norfolk, 2003-2013. He currently lives in rural Hampshire and maintains a small flat in South Kensington, London. From 1995 to 2003 he lived in Hanover, New Hampshire. Although able to apply for British citizenship, Bryson said in 2010 that he had declined a citizenship test, declaring himself too cowardly to take it. However, in 2014, he said that he was preparing to take it and in the prologue to his 2015 book he describes doing so, in Eastley. His citizenship ceremony took place in Winchester and he now holds dual citizenship. While living in the U.S. in the 1990s Bryson wrote a column for a British newspaper for several years, reflecting on humorous aspects of his repatriation in the United States. These columns were selected and adapted to become his book I'm a Stranger Here Myself, alternatively titled Notes from a Big Country in Britain, Canada, and Australia. During his time in the United States, Bryson decided to walk the Appalachian Trail with his friend Stephen Katz, a pseudonym, about which he wrote the book A Walk in the Woods. In the 2015 film adaptation of A Walk in the Woods, Bryson is portrayed by Academy Award winner Robert Redford and Katz is portrayed by Nick Nolte. Bryson is portrayed as being much older than he was at the time of his actual walk. In 2003, in conjunction with World Book Day, British voters chose Bryson's book Notes from a Small Island as that which best sums up British identity and the state of the nation. In the same year, he was appointed a commissioner for English heritage. His popular science book, a short history of nearly everything is 500 pages long and explores not only the histories and current statuses of the sciences, but also reveals their humble and often humorous beginnings. Although one top scientist is alleged to have jokingly described the book as annoyingly free of mistakes, Bryson himself makes no such claim and a list of some reported errors in the book is available online. In November 2006, Bryson interviewed the then British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, on the state of science and education. Bryson has also written two popular works on the history of the English language, The Mother Tongue and Made in America, and, more recently, an update of his guide to usage, Bryson's Dictionary of Troublesome Words, published in its first edition as the Penguin Dictionary of Troublesome Words in 1983. In 2012 Bryson sued his agent, 
Jed Max Incorporated, in New York County Supreme Court, claiming they had failed to perform some of the most fundamental duties of an agent. The case was settled out of court, with part of the settlement being that Bryson not discuss it. In 2005 Bryson was appointed Chancellor of Durham University, succeeding the late Sir Peter Ustinov, and became more active with student activities than is common for holders of that post, even appearing in a Durham student film and promoting litter picks in the city. He had praised Durham as a perfect little city in notes from a small island. In October 2010, it was announced that Bryson would step down at the end of 2011. In May 2007, he became the president of the campaign to protect rural England. His first area of focus in this role was the establishment of an anti-littering campaign across England. He discussed the future of the countryside with Richard Mabby, Sue Clifford, Nicholas Crane and Richard Gerling at CPRE's Volunteer Conference in November 2007. Bryson has received numerous awards for his ability to communicate science with passion and enthusiasm. In 2004, he won the prestigious Aventus Prize for Best General Science Book that year, with a short history of nearly everything. In 2005, the book won the EU Descartes Prize for Science Communication. In 2005, he received the President's Award from the Royal Society of Chemistry for advancing the cause of the chemical sciences. In 2007, he won the Bradford Washburn Award from the Museum of Science in Boston, Massachusetts for contributions to the popularization of science. In 2012, he received the Kenneth B. Meyer Award from the Florey Institute of Neuroscience in Melbourne, Australia. With the Royal Society of Chemistry the Bill Bryson Prize for Science Communication was established in 2005. He was awarded an Honorary Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, for his contribution to literature on December 13, 2006. The following year, he was awarded the James Joyce Award by the Literary and Historical Society of University College Dublin. After he received British citizenship his OBE was made substantive. In 2011 he won the Golden Eagle Award from the Outdoor Writers and Photographers Guild. On November 22, 2012, Durham University officially renamed the main library the Bill Bryson Library for his contributions as the university's 11th Chancellor, 2005-11. Bryson was elected an Honorary Fellow of the Royal Society, FRS, in 2013, becoming the first non-Briton upon whom this honor has been conferred. His biography at the Society reads, Bill Bryson is a popular author who is driven by a deep curiosity for the world we live in. Bill's books and lectures demonstrate an abiding love for science and an appreciation for its social importance. His international bestseller, A Short History of Nearly Everything, 2003, is widely acclaimed for its accessible communication of science and has since been adapted for children. In 2006 Frank County, the mayor of Des Moines, awarded Bryson the key to the city and announced that October 21, 2006 would be known as Bill Bryson, the Thunderbolt Kid, Day. In January 2007, he was the Schwartz Visiting Fellow at the Pomfret School in Connecticut. Bryson has written the following books. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.